स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज़ रूपिंदर सयाल एंड वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल वंडरफुल कॉन्वर्सेशंस सो आई लाइक बुक्स अ लॉट एज यू कैन सी बाय द वीडियो रिव्यूज ऑन दिस चैनल एंड द रीज़न आई लाइक बुक्स इज बिकॉज बुक्स आर वेरी सिमिलर टू अ सॉफ्टवेयर अपग्रेड फॉर योर ब्रेन सो इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट द ओनली थिंग्स यू कैन लर्न आर प्रॉब्ली फ्रॉम योर एनवायरमेंट वॉट योर पेरेंट्स एंड योर फ्रेंड्स एंड योर टीचर्स टीच यू एंड ऑल्सो books so books are kind of communications by people who are knowledgeable in some areas and they can provide you knowledge in those areas if you happen to read those books and some books are you know they are okay some books are really good and there are some books sometimes to at least me that the sometimes that they stay with you for a while they you read them and then even if two years have passed or three years have passed since you read them they stay with you because they are thought provoking and they are kind of they kind of plant like as the movie matrix has that dialogue it's like splinter in your mind so the book we are going to talk about today is a very slim volume and it is one of the uh, books that i admire the most because it has changed my world view a lot and i keep thinking about it long after i have read the book so the book is free will by sam harris so just to give you a small background about sam harris sam harris is a philosopher he is a prize winning author he is uh, he holds a phd in neuroscience from university of california los angeles he has a wildly uh, uh, crazy fan following around the world he hosts a podcast which was previously titled waking up but now is titled making sense and he is one of the most influential authors uh, according to me uh, in the current times he is kind of a thinker for the present times so he thinks about the implications of technology about religion and most of the other human issues that we are confronting today and have confronted us from uh, across the millennia uh, so he has helped me in growing myself and and involving myself in thoughts about interesting things so what is free will just to give you a background so free will is basically the idea that you or any one person is behaving independent of any outside motivations so if we th- think about genetics or biology a person's uh, actions are determined by either nature so what is in their genes for example and their nurture so what is in their environment and what the book uh, basically talks about is that f- the concept of free will that we are a conscious producers of our thoughts and actions it is a big illusion it is basically an illusion and we are much less in control than we think we are and actually this book is the product of one of the talks that sam gave i think it was a couple of years ago it is a one hour talk so if you don't want to read the book you can actually see that talk it is i think it is an explosive idea and the implications are so widespread i can't even count to you know think about whether it is the criminal system whether it is in our behavior whether it is our negative emotions like pride resentment guilt remorse uh the implications are far reaching even more than the concept of atheism which sam and other of his uh atheist uh, brethren are involved with so it is an explosive idea so the idea that uh, we are conscious producers and we are always thinking what we want to think it is kind of an illusion if you really think to the logical end of it but sam harris really drills it down in this book that we did not choose our genes so we did not choose our parents we did not choose our place of birth we did not choose our time of birth and we did not choose our environment so for example if somebody was uh, somebody was physically or mentally or sexually abused during their childhood or in their adult life there were so many factors outside their influence and it is really impossible to give positive or negative credit to anybody's behavior and 
even if we think about mass murderers, rapists, killers, and hateful people, like whether they are from the right wing or the left wing, we don't want to get into that debate, but their behavior is determined by so many events that were not of their own choosing, that were not of their own choice. So it really encourages you to build a lot of empathy for the people and a lot of kindness for the people because they are not choosing to be poor. They are not choosing to be rich also. And they are not choosing to be hateful because they have been victim to many of the unchosen events in their life. And that's what determines their current behavior. And that's what determines their current position in their life. So very, very thought provoking book. This book is a very slim volume. And as I said, you can actually get the gist of it just from the YouTube talk. I will give that the link in the description box below, but very thought provoking book. So I hope you like the uh, video. Please subscribe to our channel. We need more subscribers and we need to spread awareness about good books. We need more readers in our society. So please subscribe to our channel, share with your, with your friends, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment if you don't like it and hope to see you soon and take care. Bye-bye.